Good morning, YouTube. We're going to shift back to Old Faithful, Death Shadow. Um, I'm going to switch. I switched up a couple cards in my sideboard. I cut my Radiant Flame because I wasn't super happy with them. Um, because I kept finding, like, I wanted... I didn't want sweepers that often, but I wanted sweepers that I could cascade into a little bit more than I thought I would. Because I found a couple more mid-range decks, like that four-color Pyromancer deck that Brendan Candio was playing. Determined that I wanted that, so wanted there. But I decided to just cut the sweepers in general because there weren't enough matches where I wanted them. And just add two Nihil spell bombs for a little bit of graveyard height because Storm will be on the tick up. And, um... This is also good against the Candios deck. So we're going to jump into it and just start rattling off some games. Join League. This one right here was when I played last night. I played the. I played DeCandio's uh, I played DeCandio's four color pyromancer deck. I did not do very well with it, but I more than likely did not play it very well because that's like I, I'm not a very intuitive magic player. I need to put the reps in. And I struggled with it a little bit. I like to play first. Yes. Um I'm going to keep this hand. We're going to lay the land on. We're going to bobble ourselves. And if it's a land, then we won't. But if it's a card we don't want, then we'll shuffle it away with Traverse. I don't recognize my opponent's name. Okay, we don't need another one of those right now. I'm going to get a Swamp. Then pass the turn. Sometimes I want to know. Yo, my explains looks like Bant Eldrazi. Sky Spawner. That card's annoying. Okay. So what do I want to do? I think I'm going to save. I think I'm just going to Inquisition my opponent. I wouldn't mind hitting this Sky Spawner. And then look to Thought Seize and have a Breath Decay up next turn. That Eternal Witness is annoying, but they can't actually cast it. Oh, they have, they have two of these. Okay, so then I'm just going to take this Displacer. They have a Smasher, too. This is going to be a tough one. I'm going to take this Displacer and then probably Thought Seize this Eternal. Well, I can't, so I can deal with the Displacer. So they're actually just going to take the Eternal Witness, take the Reality Smasher, try to, like, gain life out of this. Yeah, that's the plan. And I, I can just decay this thing. So that's a tough hand. This is gonna be uh, it's gonna be a tough one to beat, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so here comes a temple. Here comes a sky spawner. Wow, that's insane. I still think that I'm going... Well, I could just start getting this in play. So what does that do for me? If I took this up here, my opponent would need another temple to smasher me. But if they don't, then I just start picking everything off. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to go for it. I think, it's, I think it's that good for me if this works out. Don't temple me. Don't tap another sky spotter. Okay. All right, I can deal with this. Oh, that's nice. Maybe I'll bobble them for some actual information. Are they pathing their thing? What are they doing? They're just fetching. Okay. Double smasher. One, two. And they have the cavern. Okay, so I'm actually I'm gonna lose my Liliana next turn. 
because they have two. One, two, three. You're going to be able to play this no matter what. Damn. That reality smasher is a tough draw. So I guess I take a smasher. Tick. Tick up on this. Um, now, how much do I need this Blood Bright Elf to win me this game? Or do I need to gain life? So he's got, we know they have Displacer. Now, I think, I think I've just got to go minus two, minus two. <clears throat> and then just bobble my opponent's upkeep. This Liliana did some work. That second Reality Smasher is pretty rough, though. But hopefully we can hit a land so we can start Blood Ray Elfing. This Planeswalker is going to go to the graveyard, so we really don't have any bad hits. We just need to hit a land. Like, Tarmogoyf's good. Removal spell's good. Liliana the Veil is all right. Well, that was probably our worst hit. It's Blood Ray Elf Land. Okay. Alright. Oh, wow. He didn't kill my Liliana. So if I tick up on this, I still can't trade with it. because I still can't trade with it because it becomes a 3-4, so I'm just going to go. I'm probably just going to take another hit from this. Hope my opponent doesn't like suck out on me. Okay, well, I'm just going to cast another one of these. Yeah, all right, we'll cast that. And I'm just going to end this game. We're going to get aggressive. Hopefully they don't draw a path or a Drowner of Hope or another Reality Smasher. We couldn't beat a second Reality Smasher unless we held back a lot. Oh, we held back with, because that block's here. We could have, we would have had to hold back with the Elf. Nice. Not cycling that. Um, so he has to block my Death Shadow. So I actually can just send in with the Death Shadow and be like super defensive and probably not lose to any of the top decks and then maybe cast this Street Wraith next turn. But I'm so far ahead that I think I'm just going to send in with this. Hold both of these back to trade with a Smasher off the top. Because no matter what, like, my opponent is in a lot. Now that I've stabilized this board here, my opponent's in a lot of trouble, and they don't really have a draw that kills me. Like, yeah, Blood Braid Elf. That is what this deck, that is why I, I just, I cannot stop praising enough. I really hope that people start to see this. This is why this is insane in this deck. You get a whole nother level of... You just have a, a whole nother level of interaction because of Blood Rain Elf. It gives you a whole new angle to attack with this deck with. I, think I like the brutalities because like I can nug them and gain life if I need to. Because like they're, they're gonna start beating me down to start. Um the removal's okay. Probably bring in another fatal push. Maybe cut one of these. I think I just want all my elves. I probably can cut a traverse because they're gonna bring in some graveyard hate. What do they have that are X2s? Nothing super great. Why these K commands aren't. Uh, I guess they bring in engineered explosives after cyborgs. So maybe I can like catch them a little bit. 
Do you leave out stuff? Yes. I leave out stubborn denials against every single deck that tries to kill my creatures. I would much rather play... Uh, you, you should never have counter spells in your deck in fair matchups from any Death Shadow deck at all. Unless it's a control deck. Like, if you're playing against a control deck, you can have... your The stub should be in there. Um... Two draws. We get one, two. We have three looks at a land. We have 16 in our deck. Four redraws. 20. Three more wobbles. 23. So we either have 16 looks at a 16. Three looks at 16 lands or seven redraws. So I'm gonna keep this. They put a card on the top, so we get to check it out. It's probably a temple. Sky Spawner. Take the Witness, and then we take the Sky Spawner. Okay. Whew. We're getting a sweat here. He's getting this tap because we know his hand. Then hopefully we can get on the battlefield before this. Okay, that's great. Um, still just kind of thought sees. The sky spawner. Just keep my life total a little lower. We're not going to go too much lower. Rush land into. All right, we're just going to lay the land here for a swamp, for a forest. I think I might actually take a shot off of this. Um cuz he's got drowner of hope and three other cards. I'm going to just take this hit. Cuz we play something else that's going to help set up Liliana also. Or I could just go Abrupt Decay and then start going up with Liliana. I'll put the squeeze on this Drowner of Hope. Yeah. And I think I'm actually going to discard a Blood Raid Elf because I have this K command. kind of want to leave this Liliana here. Well, I'm going to discard the Blood Raid Elf because I can command it back. Um... The next card I dish will be Liliana. Path to Exile, okay. We can empty our opponent's hand here, which is good. This is like a Drowner of Hope. What is it? What do we got here? Engineer Explosives for three. Nice. So just. Return target creature from your graveyard. Destroy target artifact. I'm going to ditch. Probably ditch my Liliana at this point. We are manhandling. Play the temple, so they would have hit it, which would be nice. Land. Okay, well, that's the next best thing. I'm going to ditch my elf. Or not my elf, my fatal push. Play draw land. How greedy am I? One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, I think we're just going to go up one more. Get punished here by like Reality Smasher. But that's kind of it. Mm, tapping colors, man. All right, that's that's a pretty good one. Jeez. All right. Um. So I'm gonna go. Scion, Sky Spawner, Temple. One, two, three, four, and then like.
I probably could split this up better, but I'm not really worried about it. Probably keeps these, and then we just start ticking up on this. I'm going to hit his Scion to start. Actually, I'm going to hit the Displacer so my Liliana, my, this thing so the Liliana stays in play. And then I can attack. Actually, um, no. This holds off this. We did draw our one of both games here, so now we just need a land drop. I don't really want to take, I guess I'm just going to take this out, be an adult. Ditch an elf, attack, play another shadow. This has been a massacre. This is a little like a okay, that's a good one. All right, we will traverse for a fetch land. Attack with both my creatures. I'm more than likely just gonna bend my Liliana here. Yeah, I'm just gonna like clear the board. This sets off Reality Smasher. And that's a nice part about this deck. We just didn't need the Blood Red Elves. You know, like we needed the Blood Red Elves in game one. We didn't need them in game two. But like that's why this deck is awesome because this gives you all. This is a bat. This is a role player. We don't need it, but it's very. But like five lands on top. I don't care, man. Like I literally don't care about any of these decks that flood out when you can just play Death Shadow. And you don't flood out. Hey viewers, I hope everyone's having a good morning this morning. I get a lucky stream in today because the United States government is incompetent. I should have brought in my Golgari charm last match because it also hits rest in peace. That was a, that was a frig up on my part. So yeah, I'm going to have a good little stream this morning. I have to pay attention to my phone a little bit because I have some work to do this afternoon. But nothing too intense. And, like, while we steamrolled our opponent in game two, we beat their good draw in game one. Which is awesome. Oh. Should toss on my music here. Dashboard. We got a little Twitch alert for the old follow. Crost. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Put my music on here. Let's get a little bit of tunes going. Um, I'm going to keep this. It's not great, but we're... I, I probably should mulligan this. Something that I make a mistake with now, I think, like I could improve on playing this deck, is I tend to keep looser hands because I have Bloodbraid Elf. Like the, the, yeah, we're going to keep that because that gives us a turn two Death Shadow. Because like the inherent power level of the deck has, is, is better... Oh, that was the wrong land. I should have played this so that I could fetch to Lightning Bolt. Uh, I guess I can get... No, I can't get a red source with this. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now we're in a little bit of trouble. So I'm going to cycle this now. All right, that's a good draw. And we're going we're, we're gonna to put a hurting on ourselves here. Yeah, so I have to pay attention to my phone a little bit because later I've got to do a little bit of work. Okay, well at least we are we're like rolled up on removal here. And we're gonna have delirium. This is like right after I cut all my sweepers from the deck. So like next turn I probably go abrupt decay, traverse for a bloodbright elf.
Dahlia. Okay. That card is annoying. Okay. So I kind of want to like deal with this this turn so that I can next turn go like abrupt decay collective brutality if that's what I should be doing. I think humans is still very good. I think the Jun decks are built a little clunky right now. Reflector Mage would be awful. That's awful. And that makes this thing larger. So maybe I actually got to decay this, spend my next turn going Kulligan's Command on this, making them discard a card, just to save me a little bit of life points. I think I've got to do that. But I could traverse for a Tarmogoyf to hold down the fort, or next, or I can like K Command to kill that, make them discard a card, and then next turn traverse for two Death Shadows. They still have four cards in their hand. So I can go K Command, next turn traverse for a Bloodbraid Elf, and play it. There's a whole lot of ways that this all goes pretty wrong for the home team. Mantis Rider being one of those ways. I'm gonna go two. Discard. We take five. I can't even shock myself to traverse. Okay, so. So I can go Brutality this, just to gain some life. I can't fetch for a Swamp though. So what I can do is I can Brutality this to gain life, Traverse for a Bloodbraid Elf, play a Death Shadow, play this tapped. So I think I'm going to have to try to Bloodbraid Elf into a way to kill this. So let me just go Gain and Drain. dead to a lot of things here. I'm dead to like Mantis Rider, I'm dead to a Phantasmal Image, dead to a Reflector Mage. Yep. Yep. Alright. Kadarvis. That's a cool name. Okay, so I want my Battle Rages. I don't want Bloodbraid Elf. I want my Fatal Push. Um... Probably don't want Colagon's Command, as it does hit Aether Vial, but that's like, it's kind of inefficient there. I can bring in, I'd, I think I'd rather have a Brutality than a Colagon's Command. Yeah, we're just gonna try to Battle Rage him out of this game, I think. That is our game plan. Sort by converted mana cost. Could cut one more, I might cut like a Liliana the Veil for the fourth Brutality on the draw. Then I have to try to like hope to keep a piece of one mana interaction to kill like a Thalia from on the draw because the brutality suck. Now if this was a green land, I'd keep this hand, but we gotta ship this. You would have brutality on two to kill the champion and save decay or thought seize greater than thought seize two. So you would have brutality on two. You'd have brutality instead of play the death shadow. Is that, is that what you're, is that what you're telling me there, sir? 
Just check out our top card. If we don't like it, we'll put it away. If we like it. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna take a lieutenant. And then I might just I still might decay this noble hierarch. Yeah. That kind of feels like small ball. Though it does kind of like unlock his hand and no, what do I want to do? Let me see what I draw. So now I do think I'm gonna decay this noble hierarch because I'm just playing two death shadows next turn. I just want to use my mana, and I don't want him to, like, be able to get ahead on things. Miss Thalia's lieutenant without a board isn't that scary. And I just want to be mana efficient. I don't want him to go, like, champion Thalia's lieutenant next turn, or, like, another noble hierarch in order to put make it so he can free his mana up to deal with this horizon canopy. Like, it does feel kind of mopey, but... Yeah, so there's the Ancient Ziggurat. He doesn't even play it. All right, there's the battle raid. I think we're gonna win this game. I'm gonna get a second stopping ground just in case there's some shenanigans. I find most of the time they're aeoli. I'm sorry, it's hard. To, I don't know exactly. Like is it aeoli, like garlic aeoli, aeoli. Um, NMT. I find most of the time that it's right when you're playing this deck. To take the most aggressive line. Okay. That's. Patch land? Take it. Because the deck rewards you for that. It's kind of like a win in doubt, be aggressive when it's close. And I think it was close last that turn. It's kind of like when you thought sees and you see a lot of cards that are really good out of a blue deck and you just kind of take the Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, and I get what you're saying with that, but I think that if I don't play the shadow, like how am I, how am I winning? You know? Okay, so that's annoying because now this thing is gonna grow. I don't understand why they're not playing their lands that I know about. Is that that's enough? If they don't block. He might not block because it, it makes his whatever a lot worse. And this is the sweet part of this deck. Again, like, I keep preaching it, and I'm probably sounding like a broken record now, but you just switch. You go from being a Bloodbraid Elf, sort of bigger mid-range deck, to a low-to-the-ground Death Shadow Battle Rage deck. I'm going to bring in another Brutality, because the Liliana Veil is not very good on the draw. At least the Brutality does something. Yeah, Brutality is not that good, but my sideboard, because I actually, right before this league, I actually cut my Radiant Flames from my sideboard because I was like, I don't think that they're, like, I don't, I haven't seen, like, I, I've been playing a lot of decks where I might want this Blood Bright Elf in and have a Sweeper. Those are the only decks that I've played that I've wanted Sweepers. So, uh, and I didn't like what, I liked Radiant Flames a lot because it was easy on the mana and it dealt with humans as opposed to, like, Kozilex Return, Anger of the, or Kozilex Return, or Pyroclasm, and Anger of the Guards was like, Anger of the God was a little hard on the mana base. Uh, this hand's pretty good. We have Interaction on 1 and Eternal Wolf on 2. A little bit of a redraw. We might play a slower game here. There's no 1 drop, which is nice. This probably means they have a Thalia. Troopers. Yeah, I think, I think we're going slow. Here. Bab. I'm gonna take this Phantasmal. I'm gonna take this uh, Thalia. We'll deal with Bob next turn if we got it. We'll probably Brutality it. Okay, so there's the Ziggurat. No, Unclaimed Territory. Okay, we don't need any more of those. Forest. Uh, it's 
so hard to be my puppy. Yeah, Slangster, they're they're just background music for um they're just background music for my uh you draw two special rules, book tally, call your marriage style, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I understand what you're yeah, I understand what you're saying there. I just like I think it was like and also I don't think I'm winning like I'm not winning if I can't kill this creature, and I'm not winning if I'm not attacking. So, like, I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Get in the hospital. Yeah, it's it's they're, they're just kind of like dirtily songs for background music, so that I can upload them to YouTube. So I think I'm just gonna decay this and then traverse for a death shadow. This turns off my opponent's. Uh, Phantasmal image for at least a turn. And then we get to get a little aggressive next turn. We can drop two good threats. <coughs> We're like a battle rage away from winning this game, I think. Don't play Master Rider. Jeez. I take back everything that I said. Oh, he's got a phantasmal image. His freaking god. I can't even target it with the Liliana. So if he attacks me and I actually draw a Battle Rage, I can kill him. Even if he phantasmal images this Mirror Crusader. anymore because he'll just chop block this time away yeah I think we're dead as a doorknob now that was a rough draw rough set of draws oh, I guess he had the he had that one yeah he's got us the old Mirror and Crusader. Mirror and Crusader punks me out sometimes. That happens though. It happens to the best. Let me get some more Cofefe. Yeah, we're gonna keep this. This hand's pretty good. And I don't think I don't think I want this card. So let me check out my top card here. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. A a lot. I, I feel like I'm doing terrible pronouncing that. Okay, let me go 
go like this. If it's a land, I'm not going to traverse. Inquisition. Okay, I'm going to traverse. Because I don't want that. I actually don't really... Maybe I want the Liliana. I don't know. Um, swap. What do we draw? Okay. Catacombs. So now we almost have Delirium. Flooded Strand. I hate playing against Flooded Strand. I'm just snap taking a spreading seeds with this. I'm actually going to play my Tarmo with them too. But this is a matchup where if this is blue white control, that I definitely suffer from not having a basic mountain in my deck. Because Bloodbraid Elf is my best card. And without Bloodbraid Elf, without Bloodbraid Elf, like I'm really far behind. I'm really far behind with Bloodbraid Elf, and I'm even further behind. That's a good draw. It's going to kill a Planeswalker. Can kill it. a uh, whatever it is if I need it to. A Spreading Seas. I have a pretty good turn next turn set up. If he Spreading Seas is my swap, I actually wouldn't mind. It's like a Jeskai Ascendancy deck. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's Thought Seize. Thought these before I Street Wraith, because I don't know if I want to fetch or not. Jesus. Back to Scry 3, Noxious Revival, Manamorphose, Manamorphose, Manamorphose. I'm just going to take this Revival because I'm going to try to kill a Guest Guys, I can see. I think that's my whole plan. We're just going to try to beat over the top, and I don't want another land for sure. We're just going to try to beat his face in and let him just sit here and dirtle for days and then just deal with his Ascendancy. It's not a bad draw because next turn I can traverse. Like I don't want to, I don't want to put down a rupt decay right now. But next turn I can traverse for like a death shadow and get it into play. Yeah, my opponent like whatever. The game plan is to kill an ascendancy. Here comes the Ascendancy. Also, taking the Noxious Revival means that he can't start going, like he needs four mana to start going off. This card has to just be egregious, right? You're really playing this in your deck? Because unless you buy it back, it doesn't do anything. It's three mana Scry 3. Like, besides that, it's just 100% useless. Officially launched his campaign today as the cutest, um, 
That's the cutest dog on Twitch right there. Yes, I am playing against Jess Guy Ascendancy. That's just like how he, he just sleeps on his back, all weird like. So what did he get? He got an Ascendancy. So he's got Sleight of Hand and the Scry 3 card. Looking for a discard spell. Okay, it wasn't a discard spell. So now I'm just going to traverse for a Death Shadow, play the Death Shadow so that we kill him through a block next turn. And then just like decay this as soon as I get priority. Good shape. Turn five, this guy. Let him know what's up. He's gonna do the little. This is sorcery. This card's a sorcery. It's even worse. It is even worse. As soon as I get priority. It's a loot, but he only has one mana. So, this is a fate stitcher. I don't see how I die from here. I guess he gets a, another turn because of the block. Because he needs to generate like a million mana. Okay. Really out of the veil. If I traverse, I'm going to traverse for a blood right now in order to hopefully find Oleana. If I hit a traverse. So I'm gonna play that because it kills the fate stitcher. Our opponent on that's it. Sounds good. This is a matchup where we do the blood bright elf switch. We go get our grindy cards. Or we get, cut our grindy cards and get like bring in the three battle rages and the four stubborn denials and the Nihil spell bombs. Unearth. Got four cards. I think I'm just gonna kill this. He's got four cards. I know two of them. Let's do the old switcheroo. Cut all of our grindy stuff. This kills an enchantment. Bring these in. Bring this in. Bring this in. Probably cut old Fatal Push. Well, Fatal Push kills Fate Stitcher. Lightning Bolt kills Fate Stitcher too. So I don't want to have too much removal, but I do have to cut a lot of cards. Because I want, all, I think all of these are pretty good. So maybe I just don't want any of my removal, and I would rather just fight the game on a different axis, like just discard, 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 battle rage, or is like two of these cards better than two of these cards? Because there, there's like merit to bringing these in, but out of all of, out of everything right here, I don't know exactly what I would cut. I could easily cut a traverse because we're only really going to realistically need one threat to win this game. So like I could leave in a Miser's Lightning Bolt or Fatal Push. Oh, good stretch. Could leave in a Miser's Lightning Bolt or Fatal Push. I don't know, I'll leave in a Bolt. Yeah, 
let's cut these. Bring this in. I guess he's got a bunch. He has like birds too, doesn't he? My opponent has birds of paradise. Maybe I want to like keep a couple of these in. Then bring the brutalities in on the play and cut like the, this removal. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that. Ponastar of Menchard. Okay. I'm not super familiar with this deck. Yeah, this hand's good. Discard spell Dharma Wife. What more do you want? He's like, jokes on you, Leyland Sanctity. The really nice thing about this deck is that, like, the post sideboard configuration, you can beat a Leyland. Like, because you have the three, three battle rages and four denials, you do have game. So let's fetch an overgrown tomb. Cycle this here, Street Wraith. Okay. I'm going to lead off with this. Glittering Wish. Uh, I guess I take the bath. My opponent can't cast the Glittering Wish for at least another turn. So I can at least thought seize whatever they get. Because like next turn, I probably go like, he might glittering wish here. No, he can't glittering wish. What do we got? DE e for dose. Alright, well we kinda gotta get that off the table. Well. So I think my plan is I'm gonna hold up stubborn denial. Stub anything I get the opportunity to stub. Untap decay thought seize or decay hold up play Tarn Wife and stub. I could go thought seize, a glittering I could thought seize one of these. But then my next turn. Like, so basically I want to cast a I really want to cast a two on this turn. And I really want to cast a two and a one next turn. So I really want to do this, and then I want to do either this or one of these two. If I have to do this, I will. But if I think that there's a likely chance that I'm going to do this, then I should do this as well. I think in a perfect world, I get to decay this. So we're going to play this. A Death Shadow, that would have been insane. My opponent also didn't see blue in the first game. So there's definitely a chance that they don't. That they just walk into this. We let this go. This means we're probably abrupt to gain this. They drew that stomping ground. So we know their hand. A second ascendancy. Okay, so we definitely just decay this now. Play Tarmogoyf and hold up Stubborn Denial. Stubborn Denial, the first ascendancy. Thought sees the second ascendancy. didn't mulligan anything. We know their hand, so. Take my puppy out in between rounds. Okay, so they drew. So they drew a misty rainforest. I don't understand why they aren't using I think Lloyd's dead. My phone's dead too. Let's thought sees this ascendancy. And this is like this is why this deck is great. It's like you just absolutely murder all of this stuff. Like if if you're any of your opponents are just trying to do any sorts of shenanigans, I'm gonna play this forest to make them think that there's a three mana spell coming. 
you just absolutely destroy any of this crap. This is a Dryad Arbor. I'm gonna bolt it. Cause sometimes they play an Arbor to go off with. Okay. I don't know if they've done that recently, but when the deck first came out, I saw them play a Dryad Arbor. Okay. Seventeen viewers. I hope everyone's having a good time tonight. My name is Dylan Hubbell. I'm part of the uh, Card Hoarder Network. So the stream is brought to you by Card Hoarder. I'm also sponsored by Gamer Craze, which is a store up in upstate New York. I have their Facebook group linked below, and I have their Crystal Commerce linked below, I believe. They foster a college environment, so they buy and sell at really good prices. Um, I always put my content, my streams on YouTube. So if you want to support me, um, you should definitely give me a YouTube subscription. It's free. You know, it's one of the easiest ways to do it. So that's a good way to support me. And I love talking magic on Twitter. So like, if you hit me up on Twitter, I will talk about modern, standard, and legacy. I like all the constructive formats right now. So let's get back to match four. Keep going for the old 4-0 here, or the four, going for the 4-1. Helix. God, his hand's so good. If I draw a fetch line. I think I'm going to keep this because I'm on the play and I have triple discard spell. I put on mulligans. There are a few things that I like. I'm not on the play. I'll be wrong. Where's the pirate? Inspiring advantage. Who would have thought yet? Spike me. Send a message. Great. So that's going to get us a basic next turn. Oh, yeah, I didn't have triple discard spell. What are you doing, buddy? Stop licking my feet. Guard on top. <clears throat> so I kind of want to take the lightning helix because without having a death shadow, it's kind of hard to race this. So I'm gonna take the helix. Like they're probably gonna play like creature. No, okay. So we're just gonna get Tarma Book down now. This finds me basic forest. Get the big man down there. My opponent probably helixes me. It's gonna be tough to win this one unless we draw that shadow. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? Boros charm. So they have they've got six burn in hand. Oh, they can just cash it all in. So now my discard spells are useless. Alright, we're getting in there. Play this tapped. I'm not going to show him the watery grave if I don't have to. So we are at a virtual four. Stop it. Stop it. Pop's getting restless. Probably take him out soon. Take him out, probably take him out in two weeks. Okay, Helix me. That just, Helix is so good. Just completely like messes up the race. God, okay, at least that's going to pump our Tarmoloif. I'm not going to shock the Plague Blood Elf. I'm not even going to do it. I'm just going to attack with Tarmoloif. Play a tap land. And then... Just hope to blood rate off my way out of this game next turn. Next next couple turns here. My opponent bricks. We have a chance. But they need a brick, like, they need just running bricks. This is a hell of a mulligan to six for my opponent. They just rip bolt me. Okay. this because it beats like an onboard thing like my opponent plays an idol on next turn this beats it actually I'm gonna kill my opponent if they miss but they have a million outs skull crack yep 
Yeah, we were just like, we were one turn short. That was a hell of a mulligan to six for my opponent. There was one hell of a mulligan there. Okay, so we cut the elves, cut the commands, cut the last hopes. And we have absolutely aces in this matchup at our sideboard. We have four brutalities, four stubs, three battle rages. We have a whole lot of get out of my face right here. Um, I need to cut a bunch of cards still. So I think I'm, gonna, I think I'm actually just gonna cut my, I'm gonna cut all my street rays. Sometimes I like to leave a couple in, but because I'm down two discard spells on one, I think I need to keep my thought seasons in. All right, heater. Thought season into Tarmogoyf with like a sideboard card. What more do you want? My opponent gets too feisty. We'll get the big the big boy down here. The man, the myth, the legend, the avatar. Mulligan to six. I can't win. My opponent mulls. With a hand like this, I think I'm looking to take a creature. Well, I don't know. Like I kind of want to take a creature because it's gonna keep my Tarmog life going. So I could take Rift Bolt because Rift Bolt actually like kills. Like if my opponent plays a Rift Bolt on one and I can't play Tarmogoyf because he'll just bolt, he'll just Rift Bolt it. So I kind of just want to take this and then like collect the brutality of this Goblin guy. Probably hit this World's Charm. Yeah, especially considering they have a Skull Crack, I want to get this brutality down. That was kind of a tough thought season. I probably could have taken a little more time to think about that one. I would assume that my opponent, what they do? They put a card on top. I'm assuming it's a land. So I don't wonder if I'm three moding. Oh, let's see if I'm three moding this thing. I'm probably ditching my fatal push, Parma Lawyer. Great. There's no land in the is like a note, so I need to put. I probably want to make my Tarmogoyf. I guess I could just ditch this Death Shadow, go like ditch, 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 or ditch, 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 and then just play Tarmogoyf for the rest of the game. Yeah. If I put an idol on him, I'm going to be kind of sad. I think I'm playing this game a little too fast. Like, I'm sure, like, my lines probably aren't atrocious, but I'm sure that there's, like, a couple other things that I could be doing here. Yeah, so the land. We sniff that out. Um, I guess just take his Boros Charm. It's the most powerful card. Yeah, I definitely could be going a little bit slower here, I think. Hopefully one of us draws a fetch, just with my Tarmogoyf a little bigger. Cute little Garmatoyf. What's that by? You need to go out. You probably do. You're a little fatty, you ate so much food this morning. Get that. Get that. Don't call me fat, Dad. You're the one that feeds me. Alright, I just eat what I think of me. Make me sad. Alarm. Okay. This game is going to get harder. But now we just start beating in with this goy. My opponent's got six points of burn, so we're at eight. Virtual six. We're gonna play another time award next turn. But it's it's gonna cost it's gonna cost my opponent. Okay, so now they have a lot of burn. So, so let me think. So they've got two, they have three, six, nine points of burn. I'm gonna go to five. I'm gonna go to five. 
my opponent is going to take six off of their burn spells here. So they're going to take three from this Goyf. Take so 13, take six, go to seven. Then I play another Goyf, and it's lethal next turn. Assuming, but like they can't kill me over two turns because they go like one, two, like Rift Bolt, six, and they have this. So they have nine points of burn, but even if it puts me down, like they just don't have enough mana. So yeah, so we're gonna attack first, play Tarmogoyf. We're gonna go to one off the Fatal Push. Six points. The nine points puts us to three. But that's all that they have. Oh, they didn't fire it off. They didn't fire any bolt off. Okay. All right. So they have skull crack, lightning bolt. They have six points of burn. I attack them for three. If I attack with both of my creatures, they have to block one of them. Because then they're idle unlocked. If they don't. Oh, so I was supposed to work at this government building today, but because they're the United States government, they messed up. They didn't they didn't put me on the list. So I'm, I'm not in today. I have a little bit more work this afternoon to do, but like I'm working from home and hanging out with the upper today. So I think I just attack with both. They chump block one. Probably take the rest of the damage. Yeah. Do they have to block? Or they lock themselves? Oh, that sounds fun. I think we're okay with this. Because I don't want to take four to push this, because then if they draw land, they kill me. Then my Goyf's not lethal next turn. I think I fucked that up. I have not played this game very well, I think. So I can't cast a spell with this idol on play. I can't attack. My opponent's definitely out. Wow. But now I just idle unlock them. Unless they drew a path. They drew a path. Well, now we're going to stub the path. Right? My opponent just locked himself. Now I fetch at the end of their turn, they attack, they're not gonna do anything, obviously. So I fetch a tap watery grave. What how does this go? If I push. I go to four, he needs two burn spells to kill me. And I got the first one covered. I'm not crazy, am I?
done that. Okay. I think Lion Winter was much more defensible with a blue source. It's supposed to snow though. That should be fun. Yeah, that was. I definitely could have like. I didn't think about that as well as I should have. I think. Maybe it was wrong to pitch the Death Shadow in the beginning of the game to the Collector Brutality, but I figured like my Tarmo Vice would do me would you know wouldn't wouldn't steer me wrong. They didn't. It takes so much stones to play that to play a second Eidolon from a Burn player. You're just like. Fuck it. Here we go. After this, we're gonna do one more match, then I'm gonna take the pup out, and then we're gonna go probably play one more. This hand's garbage. This hand's garbage. It's not garbage. Hey. What are you doing, bud? Hopefully my opponent doesn't play a creature so I can go the discard spell and clear out like a skull crack so I can actually make something of this Eidolon. Don't play a dude. I want a discard spell. Play a dude. Now I get to see my brutality, which is like gross. So this fatal push, I'm gonna push this. Then hopefully I get to draw a land. Hopefully I hit a land. I'm gonna definitely fetch before the trigger because I want to fetch basic. So we don't have any creatures, so we need to like preserve that life total. Now, I could lead off with an Inquisition here. My opponent doesn't play a creature. Ah, we don't have any more lands. I don't really want to discard any of my cards yet. So let's go like this. No. Let's take a card out of their hand. Then I can go get a white source. We're just going to take the card that casts one and pray to God our opponent doesn't draw another land. And this is a game where we're going to need a blue source. They drew a land. No. The good thing they've got... I think they're going to struggle a little... Well, so okay, this is they're just doing this now. Okay, so we get a Boros Charm out of their hand now. Let's go escalate with two modes, and we are ditching this battle rage. I think I've got to take the Boros Charm. This is going to be a tough one to win, because this, especially this, like I have to take the Boros, I have to take like the burn, so that's going to kill me. But then I have to get through this deflecting palm, which is also going to be really annoying. Like, I might have to decay my own tarmac. Like, I'm going to have to attack, but I might end up having to decay my own tarmac, which is going to be, like, pretty shitty. I need to draw, like, a discard spell. If I need to draw a discard spell, then that would, that would be gas. Also, like, decaying my own Karma Life lets me traverse for a Death Shadow. Which I'm kind of all about. I can't do it, unfortunately, on this turn. So I could let this resolve. So I have two cards in hand. If I let this resolve, it puts me to four. They haven't played a land, so we know they have something going on. I could just... Let this resolve. I go to four. Traverse for a nine-nine death shadow. The problem is that's just not lethal next turn. So I'm basically trading. God, this sucks. Go to four. How's Philly dog? Wait, he's going to take town on his on his ball here. He's gonna go out. 
after this league. So I could just decay this, not do anything. Let this resolve and go get a Death Shadow. 9, 14. It doesn't grow the Goyf at all. Then they have two cards in their hand that I have to kill them. I basically probably have to kill them like next turn. How am I winning? Because I time lock myself if I do this. I think we're gonna let this go. I'm gonna take four and then go get a death. Oh no 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 no! Oh, I messed up so bad. Now I have to decay because I don't get delirium. Whew. Okay, that was almost bad. Because it doesn't give you, I don't have delirium, which would have like completely muffed my whole plan. Okay. So now I just go to four and go get a shadow. Basically, like, more than likely, I'd allow unlocking myself next turn. Yeah, I need to draw. I don't know. I don't even know what I need to draw. Like, a stubborn denial, probably. But then, even if I draw, like, a stubborn denial, my opponent just doesn't attack me with their Eidolon. And I'm on like the back foot here. This is just like not good in any way we slice this. I don't think I'm gonna lock myself. Got it, man. Oh no, we're gonna go down on a fiery death. I wonder if there were other lines. I could have just not attacked with my Tarmogoyf. It's probably just right not to attack with the Tarmogoyf and then play another one. And just go double Goyf. And then I kind of time walk my opponent. I probably, that's probably what I should have done. I probably should have just gone double Goyf. Yeah. Yeah, I think in hindsight that's what I should have done. Just gone double Tarmogoyf pass. Still have the abrupt decay. And then just like kind of give up on the traverse. Yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a muff up. I I tossed that one. I'm not sure I would have won that game either way, but I could have taken a better line to help me win the game, I think. So Would like to play first. I don't recognize my opponent's name. Oh man. So this hand is like amazing if I draw a land off the top. I'm gonna keep this. Because if like I'm gonna thought seize on one, if I draw a fetch land, it's double shadow. So I basically have like 16 shots, plus traverse is 20. Plus Street Wraith is 24 and a redraw. Bobble is a redraw. It's like 28. But I guess Bobble's a delayed redraw, so it's not exactly what I'm looking for. This is one of those hands that, like, if my opponent doesn't... Ooh, okay. All right, I want to take Bob. And then I'm going to take another Bob next turn. Gotta take Bob. Which throws me off tempo quite a bit. Oh, they drew, an, they drew another Bob? Oh, that's bad. Alright, hopefully we've hit, we hit a removal spell here. That's so... Oh, that's, that's like such a dagger. Play 
Twilight Miner and the Bob. Alright, I need to wait. Come on. That's not what we're looking for. Alright, well we're gonna traverse for a forest. Play this goyf. Probably get it whacked by Liliana, but if that's the case, they do drew their own goyf. If I draw land, hopefully it's a fetch land I can bud right off, so they're gonna just eat my Tarma Goyf. But if I but now we've got a really good blood braid set up here. If we can hit a land. Show me the money. Show me the money. Okay. Now it's we're gonna be a little sad if we blood bright elf into a death shadow. We have to like do something here. Okay, so target creature gets minus two, minus two. Attack Liliana. Carter's gas. Now we're in it. Now we just play double death shadow next turn. This tarmac is huge, but if we can find a way to deal with this goif, then we're in good shape. Though he can go just bolt decay my shadow. Both my shadows, but then the elf still around. Whoa. This last elf should do some serious work. God, please bolt this. Please bolt this. Please bolt this. Come on. You know you want to. I'm just gonna pick it up. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. Yeah. Oh, it's a command. Bring back the Bob. Okay. Pull down. Get my blood ray elf back. Shadow. So now he probably goes bolt this, play Bob, because he can't he can't play Bob into this. Rage. Rage. But playing Bob into a Blood Red Elf is kind of scary. Because they're gonna take five pretty much no matter what here. And now, because we know their hand, we have just no bad hits in our deck. Right else. Even Bobble's not bad. Bobble just gives us more velocity. So the K-Bolt, probably. Okay. Oh. So now I'm going to leave the L to play. Draw step. And I know that they have a lightning bolt, but they have to choose between the bolt and uh, they have to choose between this Tarmogoyf. They have to choose between the Tarmogoyf. No, so the lightning bolt, they have to choose between the Death Shadow or the Liliana. I'm just going to hope to God that I don't get Liliana upticked. I think we're ahead. My opponent could just start elfing me, though. That gets a little scary. So this bolt goes with this. Alright. So they're drawing up the four cards. They can't really they can go Bob and Goyf to just kind of stabilize their board a little bit. There's Tom Goyf. We got a Bob coming. If I hit a removal spell, I think I'm just gonna merc this Tom Goyf. And just like crack them for a million. Do I have to elf them or do I have Liliana? What can I blood right elf into? If I blood right elf into a removal spell, it's insane. So I just crack them for a moment. If I Liliana, they probably ditch. 
let's I think Liliana's better because they probably ditch this. We hold both of these back. Then we can elf next turn. If they keep this, then I'm just cracking with both of my creatures. Yeah. I think the Liliana's just like too good. We get, we're gonna get absolutely wrecked by a cake if that's what happens here. Hey, Philly. I know, buddy, we're taking you out as soon as this match is over. BBE for memes. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, don't K command me. No, they're elfing themselves. Okay. Maelstrom pulls. So they pulse this or this. They can pulse my voice, but that's a tad combo. I, would assume, I bet they pulse this. And then if they send both of these at Liliana, I'm just going to eat the Liliana. This is, this is not a bad play from the opponent because the odds are this Liliana's going to trade with this anyways. And now you kind of dictate it. Land. Okay, so they're going to be able to rage next turn. All right, we're going to draw a card. Jeez. Cast this. I think I'm gonna hold both of my creatures back. I could attack with this. If I hold both my creatures back, what happens? I'm gonna see what my opponent's drawing. Now, so you have to have one card that matters. I kind of just want to hold both of these back because I'm gonna Blood Bright Elf again. And like, I just kind of want to not die. So like, this is pretty conservative, but I think we're gonna play defense. Now if they kill my Tarmogoyf, then I get to block here, probably. Or they're gonna rage. Or they have another Goyf. Decay. Another Goyf, okay. Play your mountain. Yeah, I just don't think I wanna die. Like, the longer this game goes, I think the better it is for me at this point of the game. interesting, but we're just going to go. Don't hit a discard spell. Traverse, cast, we're going to read another elf. Though I could get a death shadow and now just play the death shadow. Yeah, I think that's the game plan. Now I get the biggest thing on the board. <laughs> Jeez, that's just another elf. And that's why this is insane. I have more blood red elves than my opponent. Hit a discard spell. Bing! Okay, so. 
block, block. So we can't, I can't quite get in there with everything. I'm just gonna get in there with the Death Shadow. The Death Shadow will more than likely trade with something. Either a removal spell or a Tarmogoyf or a Raging Ravine. I'm gonna hold my Goyf back to check their Goyf. Okay. And now we just send it with the team next turn. Mind you, this is a game that our opponent drew a card with Dark Confidant, and they still was not close. Like, this deck is... I can't praise this deck enough. Like, I just can't, I can't do it. Um... I like to keep the brutalities in just because it's nice to gain a little bit of life to not die. Because, like, some, the way they beat you is they just, like, tempo you out of the game. And I want to keep this to, like, not die. You know, just gain a little bit of life in a pinch. Kills Bob. Kills Scavenging is they don't have any mana. Can, like, Duress is still... Still, uh, still good. Squaw Chief, thank you very much. I missed that host there. I appreciate you. Squaw Chief, the man, the myth, the legend. That came through a while ago. I don't I don't put my volume on. Because, and I'm sure there's a way that I can compensate for this. I don't put my volume on because... Um, how do I say this? I don't put my volume on because it messes with my YouTube videos. I think I'm going to keep this hand. I really hate mulliganing. I've got a redraw, two threats. Like a hand, the hand's functional. I can play magic. I need to like, I'm scrying anything that doesn't deal with Dark Coffin onto the bottom though. Like it's, I just really hate mulliganing in all of these matchups. It's a text, so I don't know if that's what they're looking for or not. Come on, opponent. Billy dog, Billy dog. Don't take me out. Take me out as soon as this match is over there, bud. Star model, just so in case it's not me, it's me that's having a problem here. So, put the sponsor page up there. Check out Game Craze Card Hoarder, my YouTube channel, and my Twitter. What that thing says. I need to clean up my front, my home page. Also, if you want the emo of the cutest dog on Twitch, you can subscribe, and then here's your emo. Like, that's got to be the greatest emo of all time. When in doubt, restart bed come on. That is a rule to live by. 
probably do one more league after this, then get some work done, and then probably play a couple more leagues um, after, like after I get my work done today. And if for some reason this tweaks out, then we'll just be compensated for it. We'll count the league. still has priority. So it wasn't us. Let me pull this back on here. I guess we can go look at my other... I played uh, Brendan DeCandio's four-color deck yesterday, last night. I did not do very well with it, but it was interesting. Like, I think that there's like, I think there's definitely something to the deck. Let me pull it up here. I think there's something going on here, but I think that his deck is like, there's just, there's too much going on. Like, I think that he either needs to like cut this traverse package, which allows him to free up some sideboard slots. I don't know why I'm really doing this. This is such a quality program. Like, I think that you should maybe cut like this, 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 and then traverses and play like Manamorphose to be just a better Bedlam Reveler deck. Or play more Bobbles. That, or, or I think you have to make Traverse really good, which is by just playing more Bobbles and playing Street Wraith and playing, like you have to make this card, you have to really make, you have to work to make this card good. This card's not good and the deck's not very good. So I do like when this deck, when this deck did its thing, I had another one of these and then I had, I had like another one of the, I don't know why Modo is tweaking out, but I had a second one of these. I had a Maelstrom Pulse and one other card here. But when this deck like did its thing, it was amazing. Like I felt like you just couldn't lose because you just chained into anything. Like once you get rolling, it's all over. But I had really struggled to get rolling and find, like, I couldn't chain into, like, I mean, if you get to the point where you can just start chaining blood, or Feather Revelers then, and Blood Red Elf, then it's just, like, disgusting. It is weird that this is, like, an 18 land deck that legitimately wants to hit, like, land drop number five. Yeah, it looks like my opponent's just gonna time out, which kind of sucks. They are probably just on the salt train. But we'll go back to this deck and talk about this a little more, I guess. So, like, this is the Blood Red Elf deck that you want to be on, I think. Like, this deck, this deck is awesome. Like, you beat all the uninteractive BS. You, 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 have, better, you have better combo matchups across the board than Jack. You have, um, you, you really start, I can't beat blue-white control because they don't play the mountain. Oh, they're back. Okay, they did something. I can't beat blue-white control because they don't play the mountain, which really hurts me. Like, Field of Ruin is just like an absolute wrecking ball. Um, but, like, Field, Field of Ruin just destroys me. Hopefully they weren't, like, jumping on my street. I guess sometimes that happens to people that are probably better, more more high profile than I am. They just have like long random stops and then the people just jump into your stream. But I don't see them, so hopefully it's something. Um, you have better matchups across the board against all the interactive crap. And and like when you get into like, like John that's probably a better mid game. Like they start like, like, because when, when they Blood Bright Elf, it's better. They Blood Bright Elf just at a better, better than you do. But you can just start chaining Blood Bright Elves, because you have four Blood Bright Elves and you have four Traverses, which depending on how many you use in the early game, 
you know, is all left up to interpretation. But you just start, like, you have more of them. And that's what we saw there. Like, I traversed into a Blood Red, a blood red Elf, into a Traverse, and I think I drew a Traverse and found a Blood Red Elf. And, like, everyone needs to just get over Blood Red Elf Elfing into a bottle. Like, that's just, that's just, like, that's just asking for a reason to not play the deck. You know, like, it, it's, if your 3-2 draws a card, that's exactly what this deck needs. They need something to get them traction in the late game. Anything. You Blood Red Elf into anything, that's, it, it's good. If you can get a card out of their hand, anything. You don't need to Blood Red Elf into Liliana every time. Or Blood Red Elf into a Death Shadow. Which, I mean... Is a good thing of this. Like your blood red elf, your blood red elf, like all of your threats are just bigger than theirs. Like Tarmogoyf's huge, Death Shadow's. I mean, they have their, they have their own Tarmogoyf, so that's a dumb argument. But like, okay, that's a good one. So we're just gonna play this, play the Pluto Delta because it's our shittiest land and pass. Um, yeah, you just everyone needs to like. If you're if the reason that you're not playing this deck is because you can blood red elf into something that's like not amazing then like you're just copping out like you're you're not you're not like intelligently evaluating what this deck does okay we're looking for a removal spell that's a removal spell and like i'm not gonna lie it feels good to jun people like when you Jun people, like, because when Jun wins, it, like, it wins, you know? It just absolutely, like, makes other decks look silly, I think. You don't have that with this deck. A lot of your games are close because of how the nature of the deck. So you don't have those, like, feel-good wins where it's just like, okay, my opponent couldn't play Magic. But you also don't have those feel-bad losses when you play against, like, Tron. Oh, yeah. I think I want to just play Liliana and Edict this. No, I'm not playing... Oh, now I have to play it. So now I could get Elf here. I freaked this up so bad. I should have commanded. Yeah, that, this was a punt here. I should have I should have gone Bing Bing and Blood Red Elf into an open board. Now if they Blood Red Elf me, it's like... Not that great for me. So just hope they don't have an elf. No elf one time. Come on, dealer. Now nah, they're gonna yeah. Yeah, I asked for this. This was this was a complete pun on my part. Okay, command, nice. So we're gonna ditch our land. And then we're gonna go Death Shadow Tarmoyf. They get their bob back. They kill this. Yeah, this was like a complete utter muff up on my on my uh, my end here. I have four card types, so I do have delirium. If I draw a Trevor, all right. Well, throw it out the window. And then my turn next turn is still gas, because like. So we're just taking the scavenging ooze. And I'm gonna look to trade with this because we have a command. They don't have this anymore. Yeah. And then like hopefully they attack, I block, and then I get the K command back, kill their kill their moron. Probably just play a death shadow that potentially gets bolted. Hey! Don't do it! Don't do it! Yeah, that's you. Oh, they did have that, okay. So still, do they not have the K command? Am I crazy? Oh, man. Okay, hit my red, I should hit my red source. All right, now I'm in trouble. Just kidding. So stopping ground. 
I should have done this after. Yeah, this was a super punt on my part. Because now they're going to not block. They might have blocked last turn. Yeah, that was a fuck up. So let's just go bing, bing. I get their lightning bolt, which is like kind of sweet. And we're going to beat this deck. The games were not. I mean, I think we're going to. Yeah, see, like those games weren't close. Like, you are not only better against every single combo deck, you are better in the mirror. Play this deck. Play this. Play it. All right, I'm going to go take my dog out.